Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Believe me, believe me, believe me or not, I'm within my Visual Studio code, and the goal for the very short video today is to show you how to deploy Azure Web App using the terminal window. So the things that we're going to do, we're going to create a Web App using the AZ CLI. So first of all, uh, you got to do the AZ login command. It will open up a new window. We just uh, provide your username and password in the new browser that you know you're gonna get. It will log in, log you in, and you are right there. Okay. So uh, there we go. I'm, I know that I'm logged into my account. So what we need to do here, uh, we need to create uh, some application. So let's start with creating a particular directory for us. So just call it demo web app. Okay, and now cd to that demo web app. And if I do that, there is nothing there. So let's just do touch uh, index.html. I don't know if the touch is gonna work. It does not work. So what I'll do here, just uh, let's see. This is code, so I'm just I'm just gonna try to do this. Uh, open folder, and this folder that we created is a demo uh, demo web app. Okay, I'm just gonna say select that directory. Okay, and I don't need this, and uh, I go back to the terminal and make sure that I'm still login. Okay, so I'm logged in, logged in now. So in here, do I ls? There is nothing in here yet. So I'm gonna here add a just a new file. I'm just gonna call it uh, index.html. And here's my HTML page here. And I'm just gonna add, like you can do all that stuff, uh, .html. I'm just gonna do uh, just HTML block I'm going to create and just say welcome to Azure Web App from Azure CLI. Okay, that's what I'm going to That's going to be my new application. So once I have that part done, what I'll do, um, I am already inside my demo application folder so all i need to do is run az uh, web app and then let's uh, give it a location for anything that you do you need a location just call it the uh, east us and let's call it the name of this application as a uh, demo web app 431 Special. This name has to be unique globally. Okay, and uh, so the command that we are running, uh, AZ Web App. Actually, AZ Web App up is what you want to do. Up is gonna uh, spin it up. And this is a simple HTML application. So the another parameter they want to uh, supply is H H HTML. Okay and let's hit enter see what happens so it says hey the web app this does not exist then it's creating the app service okay and it's automatically creates a resource group for us that's interesting right and then it's creating uh the app for me and i'm just going to wait for a minute and see what happens okay it shouldn't take too long uh for the app to get created Okay, so now it's getting SCM size uh, for this deployment. Starting to zip the deployment. This person can take a minute. Deployment endpoint responded with status code 202. Okay, so things looking good. And there we go. So now we have an application uh, that is deployed right over here. So what I want to do at this time, uh, let's just bring up uh, uh, a web page right here and I'm going to go to the link and see what happens see if I go to the link 
and look at that welcome to azure web app from azcli so that's so quickly i have created an application i have deployed to my azure portal now if i go to the azure portal real quick um, and while this is going the things that you want to make sure in this deployment is uh, location we have provided name we have provided it picked up by default it picked up the windows as a default uh, operating system for the deployment it created this resource group easy labs 50 rg windows is to us okay that's where it got deployed and uh, it used the free SKU thank god and here is the source path this is the content that it deployed uh, to my web app so let's look at the web app real quick uh, so if i come back over here yeah, let's try to go to the resource group and the uh, resource group it used is this one and looks like the app that I created is right there and you can have multiple apps created under one folder so right there and uh, if you look at this the demo of 40 through special is uh, over here now if you want to change now the configuration uh, or you can change like if you want to scale up okay you can go there and this one is created using the free okay under the dev test okay if you want to go and move to the production or if you go to the production select the production uh, SKU SKU uh, and then hit apply okay now based on what uh, tier you are choosing you have multiple like over here i have only memory and the store and not, not a whole lot we i can't do too much with the free version right but when you go to the production you see i have the auto scale up to 10 instances i have the traffic manager so i can distribute load into multiple regions daily backups 10 times okay staging slot i can have five different staging slots and uh, we can also customize the domain um, and use S uh, SSL for secure traffic. Okay, all that kind of stuff and hit apply. All right, uh, but the goal for this particular uh, uh, lab was not to go with the lab, but just to show you how easy it is to deploy using uh, your CLI. Okay so that's about it and another thing so if i want to get rid of the whole uh, app service the command that i would be running uh, would be az group so group we're going to target the uh, resource group and uh, let's say that's that's name and the name of the resource group i'm going to pick up the whole name from here okay and paste it over there and uh, hit enter and it's going to ask are you sure you perform this operation let's just say yes and hit enter and uh, what's going to happen it will run it will go to this particular resource group and delete everything for me all right that's all i want to show you in this video in the next video what we'll do uh, i'll show you how easy it is to deploy uh, uh, the Azure app, web app, uh, even from uh, some of the uh, features that we already have available within our Visual Studio Code. Thanks for watching and have fun learning.